welcome back to another video on the Football Zone. And last week we looked at how the Championship could finish. So this week I thought we'd have a look at how the Premier League could finish. There is growing hope that the season could be restarting soon. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to have a look at what may happen over the final few games of the season. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So we'll start off the games in hand for the teams playing in the Carabao Cup final. And I'm predicting that Sheffield United will go to Villa and get the win. And Pepin on Teta, I'm looking forward to this match when it happens. I think Man City will get the win, 3-0. And then moving on to the first week back, Bournemouth Palace. Uh, kind of a relegation six-pointer for Bournemouth, but not really for Palace. I think Palace might just get a narrow win. Expecting a mad game at Villa Park with Chelsea just coming on top. Villa's defence isn't good enough. They do have players like Grealish and McGinn who can hurt the teams. Arsenal get a narrow win at Brighton. Man City stuff Burnley. Newcastle narrow win. I can see Norwich. Norwich have got quite an easy run in actually. So I can see them moving up the league. Maybe not staying up, but definitely probably not finishing bottom. Big match there. Tottenham 2, Man United now. I think Tottenham with Kane back might just have a bit too much for United. And Liverpool go to Merseyside rivals and get the comfortable win. Didn't realise that was the first game back. I'm looking forward to that. And then we've got London derby. Uh, Tottenham pick up the win. Burnley, Watford. I can see Watford just getting a narrow win there. Burnley will probably be already be on the beach. Maybe testing out rotation players ahead of next season. Chelsea, Man City. I think Chelsea Chelsea might nick a point. Liverpool to beat Crystal Palace, as you probably expect. Newcastle just sneak a win over Villa. Everton, yeah, they're kind of in a similar position to Burnley and Crystal Palace and those sorts of teams. Um... Yeah, no real shock there. Arsenal slowly picking up. Going to Southampton and getting a win is a very good result. And there's the current table as it stands after the first couple of games I've predicted. Bournemouth 1, Newcastle 1. These, that's the sort of match Bournemouth will be winning. I just can't. Just really don't fancy them for some reason. Brighton, home to Man United with players like Bruno and Pogba back will always be tough for Brighton. Shame. Palace should get a win at that. or well, It's kind of a mid-table clash but home advantage. Battle for Europe there. I can see that being a stalemate. I can kind of see Sheffield United falling back. Liverpool picking up their second loss of the season against Man City. And Everton... Getting a point at home to Leicester. I can see Everton bowling that, to be honest. Newcastle 1, West Ham 1. It would be a good point for West Ham if it does happen. As for Sheffield United, probably. Although Sheffield United probably need to start winning games like that if they want to stay up. This is what I mean about Norwich's running. Southampton, Everton, Burnley, all winnable games. I can see them winning that. Sort of game Tottenham should be winning, especially as Everton pretty much have nothing to play for. Now, hear me out on this one. I can see Villa just nicking a late goal after a shit performance by Liverpool, because Liverpool will already be on the beach by then. I can just see it happening for some reason. And there's the table. The gap's down to 18 points. Oh, my God. Arsenal 2, Leicester 1. I... Arsenal just too inconsistent. And Ar Leicester are quite inconsistent as well. But they're just a bit less inconsistent than uh, Arsenal. But I can still see Arsenal picking up the dub. Man City, they've got quite quite a few comfortable home games. Relegation 6-pointer there. Um... Europa League battle between two teams we didn't really expect to be there. With Wolves having their um, Europa League this season as a distraction. And Sheffield United with the favourites to go down. I think Liverpool will get back on track with a probably a late winner at Brighton. 
Bournemouth, nil, Leicester, two. Um, yeah, I, as I said before, I just don't think Bournemouth will be able to stay out without any fans at Dean Court. I think it will affect them more than most teams. Liverpool for the back on track now. Norwich, another winnable home game, but I can't just can't see them winning this one. That one, to be honest. North London derby. Tottenham, well, they're pretty much the superior team now, aren't they? Sorry, Arsenal fans. Arsenal, I can see Liverpool dropping points there as well, to be honest. Uh, Emirates, always a tough place to go, especially now they're revitalised under Arteta. Liverpool will be on the beach by then, maybe concentrating on the FA Cup. Oh, no, they're out of the FA Cup, aren't they? <laughs> so long ago, I can't remember. Uh, not too many shocks here, really. Wolves getting a decent win away. Tottenham dropping points at uh, St James's Park, which they'd be disappointed with. See the relegation change changed a bit. Brighton seems to be in there. I mean, with all of their positive tests at the moment, there's no surprise they won't be able to get the training time in. Another game where Bournemouth should be winning, I just can't see it happening. Brighton, Newcastle going on a bit of a dodgy form, which I think will probably see poor old Steve Bruce lose his job, even though, in my opinion, he's done a fairly good job there. Norwich picking up another dub in an easier home game as well. So I don't think people should write Norwich off, because, in my opinion, they still got a chance. Sheffield United picking up a good home win. Man City, I can see, just being ruthless, because they've got quite a big draw. All you need to do is look at their... Options and with attacking midfielders and whatever is just ridiculous. And moving on to the final day of the season, not too much to play for here. Brighton needed a win. I can see Brighton getting a win to just about stay up, contradicting what I said uh, just now. Uh, no real shocks. Be a tough game for Man United, they need something on the last day of the season. However, easier for Man City. Steve Bruce's final game as manager of Newcastle, losing home to Liverpool. No shame in that, to be fair. And I think West Ham might just nick a win over Aston Villa, which would send Aston Villa down. And there is my final table. Liverpool winning the league comfortably, of course, breaking Man City's record of 101 points for a Premier League uh, points total. Then Man City, Leicester... Uh, and Chelsea just about getting the Champions League. Man United late charge, but not quite enough. I think they'll be in there over Leicester next year, probably. And then you've got top half. Uh, Wolves and Sheffield United over-exceeding. Tottenham and Arsenal under-exceeding. And Everton. And then all the teams, yeah, where you kind of expect them to be. Brighton and Watford just about to stay up. And then you've got Norwich, um, Aston Villa... And Bournemouth going down. I think they're probably fair, to be honest. I would have been surprised by Villa, but not by um, the other two, because they haven't really just spelt enough, and I just don't think their squad's too good. And that is it for my predictions. Thanks very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll leave a link to uh, the website so you can do your own predictions. A uh, link to Twitter also in the description. For daily football news. Um, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, anything else? Don't think so. Oh yeah, subscribe to the other channels on the screen. Thanks for watching. Bye.